to my life, welcome to my life, yeah On the bright side, yeah, this music here became my only lifeline Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind, no. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah well, the TV is working great now. I went ahead and ran a new search for the new channels and adjusted the picture. Got a lot of channels, great quality, great picture. Um, Dodie and I started working a little bit on the barn door with the railing. And honestly, <laughs> it's a little more detail than I thought it was gonna be. Most suggest doing a backer board just because it's so hard to get the exact studs. You're probably not gonna be lined up on the studs, but honestly, I don't wanna do a backer board because it's gonna push it out that much further and I really want the barn door to be as close to this as possible because it is just pretty much the perfect size. There's not a lot of overhang, which will keep some of the, the visibility behind the door minimal, which I know it doesn't really make sense now, but I'll kind of explain that maybe more once you see it hung. Don't know if I'm gonna get it hung tonight. Dodie's already gone, it's 11.30, I'm tired, but I'm also wanting to kind of get some things done because I've, tomorrow's my last day. Lois and the kids have already gone. Back to Tuscaloosa. So here's what I've tried to do. So I've tried to find where is the ideal spot to put the rail where I can get at least the majority of them anchored into studs. So I played around, of course, my stud finder, where is it? My stud finder uh, is not working. I think the batteries had corroded and it's been so long. So I did uh, my version of what I do when I don't have a stud finder. I find little nails and I just kind of, you know, after hitting and trying to think where it is, I'll hammer a little nail in. And so you can see I have little nails in that are where the studs are. So that's where I'm gonna to try to line up my railing to go across. There's this second part of the railing. You actually put them together to go all the way across. So probably not ideal, but I think it's gonna work. Now I just need to make sure I get the right height. So I gotta go back. Instructions, of course, are never great. So they're not good. So I've been kind of online looking to kind of get a suggestion. I think I need at least an inch off the ground. Maybe a little more, I could go back and check. So anyways, I need to see my height before I actually start anchoring the rail into the wall. So let me figure that out, I'll be back. So the holes are supposed to be the door plus an inch and 11 sixteenths above. So I was wrong about two inches. You don't want a two inch gap. It's only about a three quarters of an inch gap, perhaps below. But it's really gonna be determined by the height of the door. So. I need to measure and get my height. Well, it is now 12.30 and I still don't have the door hung. I've been trying to figure out what to do. I've kind of been stumped because the studs are supposed to be 16 inches apart, which is what the railing is pre-drilled holes are 16 inches apart. So you'll see there's six holes all throughout but on my wall yes 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 no yes no <laughs> which that side will be secure i'm not worried about that this side he only one of those bolts in there or, or lag screws in there i'm not sure if that will support the weight i'm a little nervous now what i may do is use, let's see where it is. I may use one of these. This is a sheetrock. Actually, I don't think it's even sheetrock. I think this is actually a concrete anchor. And it's not the exact size of the lag screw. It's a little small. But I'm thinking about trying it just in one spot, just on the far side. So we're gonna give it a shot. Heck, I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm tired in general. So let's give it a shot.
Okay, I think I'm changing my strategy once again. It's just not working out what I was wanting to do. It's not lining up. I'm not getting good anchor points. So I think I'm going to redo. I have found like on my little tracks up there. I don't know if you can see them on my little pilot holes to find the stud because they're just not lined up. Like here's a stud and here's a stud. That's what? Eight inches probably. What the heck? So anyways, I'm going to move this hole which is my last hole on this side. I'm gonna shift it over about four inches because there's a stud here. So I'm gonna anchor it here, which pushes everything down. I won't have one here. I won't have one here. However, there must be a board or something running along this top, at least I think, and I'm hoping. So I can at least anchor, I think three above that. It'll push it down a little bit further, but I've measured because this rail is larger than what the door is it'll be fine to have a little bit extra on this end and it'll still close and it'll still pull back far enough for it to open. At least that's what my measurements say. So let's redo I'm taking that hole out that I drilled and I'm going to reverse. I'm going to start from this end and work backwards. Let's go. All right, it's 1.30 a.m. That rail is finally up. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes to hang the brackets on the door, the barn door. Then maybe I can get the thing hung. Right, first hole for this particular bracket is supposed to be an inch and a half from the top. Let's mark our inch and a half. I'm gonna go three inches in. The second hole is three and a half inches below that. All right, let's check it on our bracket. Make sure it lines up before I drill holes in here. Hope that will work. My three eighths wood bit. So these are the bolts that are going through. Just make sure, you know, it's like the right size. That's that side. Now do the same over here. All right, check with my bracket. Looks good. Let's drill. Holes are in. Our bolts. Love getting to work in my new shop, baby. Now time for the rollers.
Time for that moment of truth. countersink or to backer board. I still want it to be a tight fit and I know with that backer board it's going to push it even a little further. I think countersinking those bolts would be the best move. But if I mess that up, I mess up the door. Hmm. Got them countersinked. Not the prettiest job in the world, but they're flush. Actually, I love beyond flush. Let's test it out again. I hope this is it because I'll probably ruin the door if nothing else. And I'm tired, it's 2.30 in the morning. After this, I'm going to bed. Moment of truth. Please work. Hallelujah, it works. And it's what I wanted. I wanted it really tight because this door is not real wide. So if it had too much of a gap, you could see through the door and eliminate the privacy. Oh. I got to tighten that up, the door style. I think I have a little bit of a downhill. I think it bends right here where the two pieces come together and it kind of curves down a little bit because it naturally wants to roll that way. Yes, I'll take that as a victory. Time to go to bed. Good night, people. Got a busy day tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life.